OpenAI just changed video probably forever with this new algorithm called Sora, and it is the best thing that you could ever imagine being possible for AI video. So here's an example of just a simple prompt right here. A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress and black boots. Boom. And you have this very lifelike, very high resolution scene. Some more examples. They'll just kind of skim through them and just kind of show you everything we got these you know woolly mammoths we got these mountains everything is super realistic the motion is a little bit off but very very good compared to any sort of motion that is available right now you definitely can't achieve this type of stuff with a simple straightforward prompt so AI, open ai says that they're going to take some steps uh, for safety and you know content and just kind of what can be produced by this model before they release it but Essentially, this is going to be part of OpenAI, ChatGPT, all of that. I'm not sure how integrated it will be, but this is going to be a big deal. This is definitely how you can make movies, commercials, all sorts of media, um, basically anything you want, right? It's, it's going to be really, really, really hard to replicate anything like this with any sort of manual prompting um, or anything else that I think is available out right now. So just an example right here, we have something that's a little bit animated. This is a, a short fluffy monster kneeling beside a melting candle, 3D and realistic with a focus on lighting and texture. That's, that's really good. That's like Pixar, Disney good. Here's a paper craft world of coral reef with fish. Very good. I mean, I, I don't think that this even comes close to anything anyone thought was possible, like, in the next year or anything. And, and so apparently this is, is something that they're testing and making available today. Right here, this is a uh, peacock or a pigeon. Sorry, not a peacock, a crowned pigeon. Just the feathers caught me off. But, like... This is like National Geographic level um, interactivity. Very, very, very cool. Right here you got, yeah, these two pirate ships, you know, and they're in a cup of coffee. So, I mean, you got this cup of coffee splashing around and then you got the pirate ships. This one looks a little animated, but I mean, I don't know how long it would take to generate the scene with with the normal means that would be available to people who produce um, video and movies so it's just overall super cool so i'll link to this post uh where you can look at everything for yourself and then you can read um all the research and everything about it this is even doing historical footage uh, of california during the gold rush really crazy there's just a lot to kind of check out here we'll just kind of walk through all the examples i think the reflection, the light, all of that. Um, and then the perspective, the depth is just really uh, beyond, uh, definitely beyond what is being produced in like Dolly for images. So they're, they're going way past even their image generation capabilities right now and completely taking video by storm. So there's just no, there's no other way to put it very very cool now this is going to get um a lot better because eventually they're going to integrate the the voice the scripts the text the video and then they're going to have the ability to make like long form scenes where you can actually like develop a narrative um, and have like a long form you know video output where it's like describing um, where there's like there's characters talking and things like that like none of these people are real they look uh, very real, you know, that's just kind of an, uh, just a quick observation there. Look at this. You got these little red pandas running around a Petri dish. What does that mean? It's a really cool visual. Okay. Let's go ahead and look, look down here. Um, here's some stuff that could be representative of advertising. Like this is 
um, meant to kind of be like a uh, Land Rover, and this is like Dan over, but I think it's just to blur out kind of the branding and to not kind of cross over copyright boundaries. See this? This just looks like someone's iPhone footage, you know, on a train. Actually, and seeing how real that is. Let's see, this is uh, some drone footage. And all these prompts are worth looking at too. These people walking, I mean, you couldn't, if you look closely, you could maybe see, uh, maybe some slight indications of the things looking maybe a tiny bit off, but if this was for part of a larger um, video for like a resort promo or something like that, or like a trip or something, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be looking that close to be able to tell. Um, and trust me, like I was looking for, you know, any sort of detailed discrepancies that I could, I could kind of find when I was looking through all this. It's, it's definitely hard to find any. Now, of course, these are just the examples. There is going to be a lot of movement with, you know, how it how it actually rolls out and you know what version it's in and you know how people are going to actually prompt it but i mean these prompts are not complicated and if they're just getting this from a single prompt we're we're really not going to have to do much in order to get this look at that A stop motion animation of a flower growing out of the windsill of a suburban house. A story of a robot's life in a cyberpunk setting. Very cool. And then here's just a character. Looks kind of like Michael from The Office, but if he got kind of old. Wolf howling at the moon. Wow. New York City submerged like Atlantis. Fish, whales, sea turtles, and sharks swim through the streets of New York. Wow. That is definitely dreamlike. So one of the things that it highlights here is that the current model has weaknesses with physics and complex scenes. So like for example, a person might take a bite out of a cookie, but afterward the cookie may not have a bite mark. And there may be spatial uh, detail confusion, for example, mixing up left and right. And I think those are really nuances. Um, like right here, this is a scene of a person running, but he's kind of running backwards on a treadmill. And then, let's see, real quick. So, five gray wolf pups frolicking and chasing each other around on a remote gravel road surrounded by grass. So, I think, yeah, their feet. Maybe the idea is that their legs are a little bit um, awkward because there's a lot of physics going on with those dogs. They did a pretty good job, though, to be honest. A basketball goes through the hoop and then it explodes. Okay. Yeah, but I see what it means. Archaeologists discover a generic plastic chair in the desert, excavating and dusting it with great care. Yes, yeah, so they're going to dust it off and then the physics with the sand and and all that other stuff is definitely getting to be a little bit warpy. So I think, you know, these are going to be some of the things that you won't be able to do for now until it gets to be a lot better. Overall, really cool. Definitely something to think about. Hopefully something that we get to use in the next year.